All right, all right. Another day, another session. Today, I went through some poison with my clients. Uh, he is just a couple of days out of competition. So I keep you guys updated as well because I'm going to be at the comp on Sunday. Uh, but there's just a few highlights. But today, our workout is up. So we get back to the poison side of things and we'll talk about that. If you want to see more poison, just skip to um, the end bit because that's where there's like five, six minutes of poison where I'll be talking about how Jesse's going, how he's getting through with his prep and, you know, how to get nice and lean, how we finish off nice and strong at the end of the prep. And yeah, just a few things that I'm going through and any little tips that I guess you guys can also take from it. Let's say you go into a photo shoot and you... Um, we bring in that peak physique. So uh, first of all, we start off with an ab work today. With abs, everything was basically 10 reps of everything. And it was only only just body weight ab workouts. Uh, I really love using, having my pizza and doing that socks as well. Something a little bit different, a little bit fun. I kind of like switch out my socks. Let me know in the comments below if you guys do that, where you have different socks, but you know, they've got mean and so <laughs> BA and pizza or pizza and donuts or whatever it is. Uh, so we've got knee tucks in, you know, knee tucks, driving our knees right to our chest. Everything today is kept controlled. So that's the main thing, trying to feel those abs work. I could really feel my abs burning back. I could also feel the activation. Now, a lot of you might start to feel your lower back in most of these exercises. Once you're abs go away your lower back takes over so if you start to feel your lower back in this make sure you're actually activating your abs and make sure your abs are not fatigued you can also rest up in between but it's a nice follow along workout as well so you can join me like i said if your lower back starts to hurt at any point you can stop and have that nice little bit of a break but the beauty of this, I guess, is you can do this in the comfort of your own home. You can do this in an office. Even if you're on a little break, you're not going to get sweaty and you get the most out of it. Now, we've got some heel touches as well, too, to hit the side abs. And it's an awesome one to do. You can really, really feel that core work in these movements. And this is one of the things that we want to really, really emphasize on when we're doing any sort of ab movements. Now, this is not a very long ab workout because we're also going to be doing some stretching today. So again, knee tucks again to get that little bit of a burner. I love knee tucks because you basically get a whole body moving to come crunch into the abs. Very nice and effective exercise. However, it's also very easy to focus on our lower back um, or get our lower back activated with this if our core is not strong enough to handle it. Then on to some Russian twist, get that little twist, get that little gauge in there, um, get that obliques working as well too. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice nice little workout you can do at home in the office. And then we're going to get into some stretching as well too. Now, one of the things that I've been very, very bad at, and I'm sure most of you will agree with me on this one, is stretching. I find stretching so boring. And that's my honest opinion. But it's got to be done, especially if you want to prevent injury uh, you, and you want to, you know, be in the game for longer and feel good. So for me, stretching is a big part. And I'm I'm actually trying, like, again, you, you're not always going to be perfect at everything. All right? So if you find flaws, you got to attack him and make him strength. Okay, so got some planks in here and then uh, our stretching began not long after. Now, I've done a few videos where I've talked about getting a rock solid six pack abs. And I said, the truth, you, you're not gonna get a rock solid six pack abs just by doing abs workouts alone. You need to ensure that your diet is good and it's a great way to activate your abs. So when you are uh, you know, do even compound movements, they can be active. Now, we're doing a hip flexor stretch here. I really like this one. What we can do is sink our knees in. And then after this, I put my hands on my waist to help drive my hips forward and push it forward uh, and just take the stretch a bit further. But first of all, I always start off with a little bit of a stretch without any um, push with it. Let my body kind of sit into that stretch because it might not just be used to it too. So you'll be very mindful while you're doing these exercises and these stretches as well too because they can affect you uh, based on how you do it too. And you don't also want to be overstretching. You don't want to be stretching to a point where you feel injured but you're still stretching. You want to actually feel the muscle stretch. 
And I know most of you already know how important stretching is for your training as well too and your progression too because if you st um, start to have injuries uh, while you are not stretching, you're most likely going to fall back and that's what we want to try and avoid. Okay. Now, I was talking today about how to um, get abs, how to get a six-pack as well. We did abs before and one of the guys actually mentioned in the live stream about you know working he was talking about for you know people that work like nine to five how do you get a training because he felt like he was basically like you know going home after work he'd be tired so he, there's no way he could go to the gym and i honestly understand that you know people might sit around and say look you're making excuses it's not that a long day of work will drain you so um Here's one of the things I suggested. For, so for anyone that's in this situation that is struggling because to just get to the gym and show up, here, try this as well. Wake up earlier in the morning. You're going to have to force yourself to be a morning person. And once you do develop a habit, so after seven days of doing that continuously, it becomes actually easy, okay? Wake up earlier, train earlier and then go to work wake you up for the day and look by the time you finish work you're going to be ruined and wrecked but if you do it and you find you can still concentrate at work then you are winning you are killing two birds with one stone it is hard to be able to have a long day of work and then be like look i'm gonna go to the gym now and train it's very hard to get in the zone so understand that all right now we're on to the poison bit with my boy jesse who is only a couple of days out of competition. So uh, we are in his peak week phase. His condition, his shape is looking amazing. He's looking sensational. You know, it's, um, I'm very proud of this guy because he has worked hard. He's listened to the plan the whole way and stuck to it. And his results speak for itself. This is insane. He's, he's doing really well. His poison's like looking good. He is He's ready. So uh, just a little bit of background. Uh, Jesse is doing the classic physique and he's also doing the bodybuilding division um, this Sunday, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be a battle, uh, amazing competitors. And that's what we want. You know, you always want to be challenged, not just go in for something easy. So uh, that's one of the things that Jesse's going to do. He's going to push and he's going to push. And at the end of the day, he's coming at his best. So that's the main thing that matters, you know? And that's the same thing for us. Uh, we went up to about close to 5,500 calories during the peak of his bulk. And then we dropped it down slowly and slowly and slowly until, um, you know, you know, because that's like the beauty of this prep was because we went up to so high, he wasn't even hungry for most of the um, prep. You know, like further out, I mean, getting closer and closer uh, to the prep, like so to the day, he obviously started getting a little bit more hungry. Uh, but I mean, further out from the prep, he wasn't at all because he was already eating still high calorie. I was just jumping in there, showing my non, um, my non aesthetic physique in comparison to Jesse. Jesse's looking phenomenal, um, and just doing a bit of a demonstration on how he could do the um, lat spread because it's such a um, when it comes to bodybuilding and poison. For anyone that knows much about the sport, poison plays a huge role in competition, and you could look amazing. Uh, especially if you go up against people that are going up, that are looking amazing and, you know, have dieted and worked hard for this goal, um, you know, you could look amazing and your bad poison can really throw you off. So we focused on um, tightening up the poison and, you know, at the end of the day, if you're going to do it, you got to do everything right. So just trying to get the lats out for this pose as well too. So this is... It's good to work on every single pose and it's good to have a coach because that just helps you to kind of look over things, which is cool. And yeah, just get into some bodybuilding poison as well. And this time I actually picked up the camera to just record Jesse. He looks phenomenal. Insane. Insane. You know, and it's, it's very, very cool to see all his hardware come together. Um, 
to see him in the best shape of his life. Uh, I wouldn't say best shape of your life because that's preferential and that's uh, everyone is different to what they think is the best shape. But this is the leanest that he's ever been. So, uh, you know, one of the goals that we've already achieved ticked it over there. Uh, but yeah, this is this has been really cool. You know, like I said, all credit to this guy because people understand. Look, you can be a coach, uh, but you don't do the work as a coach. I know it because I do that work and I've competed before. A coach is there to guide you, but at the end of the day, this guy deserves every single little bit of credit because he wakes up every day and he goes into training. He puts in the work. He shows up. I don't do it for him. I can only guide him, and that's you know that's a big thing to actually get this done there's so much we're say, saying as a coach that's you know we can only say but it doesn't necessarily mean we're doing it for them and it's that's where it's very gratifying to see all of this come together like you know for me i'm just happy to be a part of the journey and happy to see him do so well so massive 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 props to him and he looks amazing and really really looking forward to the show like I said, I'll keep you guys as updated as possible. I'm going to be at the show on Sunday, try and um, get some footage for you guys. And yeah, uh, I just want to take a moment to say a big thank you to everyone that's been watching these videos. I really appreciate you uh, been making um, daily content and releasing daily content for a while. So I'm hoping you guys are really enjoying it. Please, if you can, watch it right to the end so it can help boost my algorithm as well. Uh, my YouTube algorithm has been playing around um, some time now so it would be nice if i could get a viral video or something you know pumping you know uh so yeah thanks guys um also a massive shout out to graph uh graph language has been donating on my live streams and my super chat so that's been very very um i'm very grateful for that so thank you graph and uh yeah i hope you're having a good day i hope you're kicking goals and i hope that you are smashing it and there's the most muscular pose, one of the most muscular poses in bodybuilding. And yeah, again, hit this uh, pose and practice hard because it's not easy. Most of you that actually have done this sport before, well, not, none of this is easy. It's a lot of work, a lot of push, a lot of shove, a lot of grinding. And that's what makes it all worth it on the day as well. Too. So yeah, I just also, if anyone isn't following my Instagram, it's at Kwame Dua. If anyone isn't following... Um, Jesse's as well as Jesse Shank. Uh, just gonna double quickly double check it as well too for Jesse just to make it sure. So just Jesse Shank, yep, is his Instagram as well. So if you want to check him out, give him a bit of a follow and you know support him as we go. I just want to say a big thank you guys. I appreciate you guys so much for all your effort, all your help. You guys are the real MVPs. Keep pushing. Keep strong. Stay aesthetic. Stay lean. Your boy is out. Peace. Woo. Sheesh. Booyah. We're working. We're working. One more pose for the camp. Boom. That's the game over pose.